What's poppin' everyone? Welcome back. In this video, I want to show you guys how to make film score music like Hans Zimmer, but I could also see this as an intro to like a Meek Mill album. You know, like I came from the trenches type song. And before we get started, make sure to go follow me on social media at Enviral. You know what I'm saying? Tap in with me. Uh, but let's get it. You know, you might think my arrangement is super complicated because, you know, there's a lot going on. But I actually just used eight sounds. But the main sound that I would say defines the whole piece is the piano, which kind of, uh, you know, I played all the chords and stuff on. And I started the whole composition basically with this uh, and this theme. Thing. So that's just F sharp and then F augmented and it kind of repeats. And the next part is very contrasting because not only are the notes longer in length, so they're whole notes, and then they're also major chords. And that kind of leads back to another uh, minor section. And then the whole uh, kind of motif repeats. And then the composition kind of ends with the major chords, just kind of resolution. And then at the very end, this actually comes in. So that was actually a personal choice of mine to kind of end on that um, motif. Just because the I, I just wanted the composition to kind of resolve, but then also this kind of dark motif to still be present in the very end to kind of leave the listener on the edge still, even after all the resolution. You know, you kind of want to think of a storyline that you want to tell the listener. In this case, my composition is about Empedocles falling into the volcano. So there's kind of like a sense of suspense, but then also a sense of freedom because, because he was a Greek philosopher who believed in reincarnation and that, you know, things reproduce into other things and stuff. So, so you always want to think about a storyline that you want to convey and also like have motifs that repeat. So in this case, for my composition, the motif that I, I repeated a lot was this. So next I'll break down uh, this layer of like kind of high texture elements. And that's the thing you want to think about when you're making these kind of compositions is texture is everything. You know, texture might not always be noticeable in terms of like notes, but it adds a sense of emotion and kind of like feeling. They just kind of follow the chords. You know, it's nothing complicated because for example here, it's I'm literally playing one note. Let's see how it adds so much to it. And then literally just playing one note for the rest of the way. So the importance of instruments like this is that the human brain likes patterns and if you have patterns that repeat throughout your whole composition, it sounds more solid to a listener because they can kind of identify a sound that kind of repeats. So you want to make your notes with purpose. In this case, I wanted to do notes that are descending just to kind of symbolize the falling into the volcano. If the notes are going down, that conveys a different emotion than if you do notes going up. So the next texture instrument is this bowed kind of like cello thing. And it's just playing one note super super legato and I'll play that with the piano just adds a really cool texture sustain the notes kind of fluid uh, more fluid sound all right the next element is this guitar
All right, so I would say the next most important instrument is this strings. So strings can be very uh, powerful to add motion to your piece. I use the strings to kind of build up the whole piece. So if you think about this in the terms of like a storyline, in this section, it's like almost like a loss of hope since the melody goes down all the way to over here. And then it slowly builds back up and then, you know, it's like very high. And then it also resolves down to here, but not as low as here. Cause like at the end, it's more like a calm resolution. So now build tension, then resolve that tension by going up. single note just kind of sustain it calmness and then bring it back down you know longer notes are more peaceful and then over here the shorter notes uh, add more suspense you know you want to build tension then resolve the tension and one cool thing about uh, writing strings in FL Studio is you can go over here to control and then uh, and then channel volume over here. You know, you can add a crescendo and then decrescendo and stuff like that. All right, so I would say the most powerful instruments in this composition are these impacts and hits. So yeah, I would say the hits are very important to add like that final motion that you need in your piece. Uh, and the last thing that I added was just this sub, just to kind of fill in the rest of the frequency spectrum. You know, it just follows the roots of the chords and just kind of build uh, a foundation, a layer. All right, I'll play the full piece in a second, but if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and comment below what you thought of it, and I'll see you guys later.